Booyah! Tippy time, my damies. Sign your pity on the runny kind. I'm Pody Tang, and this is Reviewedly Interrupted, episode 7. Damn, dude, that's almost like two months worth of this shit, because I've been doing one a week. That's crazy. That's kind of crazy. I didn't think I'd be doing it this long, but... Well, actually, I had no idea. I was just like, roll the dice. Yeah. This week, Alligator. Now, this movie is fucking awesome. You know, it's it's just a classic fucking big monster movie. And it's, it's just classic. And it's like, I, I did Slugs earlier. What was that? Episode 2, Slugs. Kill, like killer creature in the sewer now alligator killer creature in the sewer uh i like i'm sure down the road i'll end up doing it's alive and that little motherfucker was running around the sewer just i think the sewers are just really bad places and i like but there was the ninja turtles so it's like it might be worth the risk to just like i don't know like crawl around in the sewer so if like if you got to you got a free Saturday? Climb on down there. Take a look around. See if you can find some Ninja Turtles. I'm sure you will find a giant rat. I don't know if it's going to be talking though. But like, this film holds a special place in my heart. Because it's like one of those films, like, if you're old enough and you had cable back in the day, you know, like the channels like TBS and TNT, they'd show like some horror movies and everything. And... It, it was generally every year you were going to see a, like certain horror movies um, over and over again. You know, maybe a few times a year, maybe just like once a year around Halloween or something, whatever. But yeah, those channels would show that. And like Alligator was one of them. Slugs was one of them. Squirm. Fucking, even though it's not a horror movie, like fucking Beastmaster. Like I fucking love Beastmaster. I, every time it would come on and boom, Beastmaster's on. I'd watch that shit. I love that shit. <clears throat> like fucking Mad Max well, and Road Warrior, fucking the Conan movies, Gargoyles, The Car, and fucking Alligator. And oh, Prophecy, which I got to get that. That is a great eco horror. If you don't know about that movie, like check it out. And um, <clears throat> uh, oh, I got the phlegms, uh, phlegms get in my throat. But like... uh yeah, and Alligator was one of them, and it just always stuck with me. It's got this real, like, personal nostalgia for me. And, uh, you know, it's like, I love watching it. And Robert Forster is fucking tight in this. Man, he is, like, the coolest dude. He's, like, that guy that you're, like, like, if you were younger, you'd be like, I want that guy to be, like, my uncle that, like, plays catch with me and shit and just, like, bullshits with me. And then you get older, and you're like, dude, that's not, that's not a dude that I want to, like, be my neighbor and we, like, have cookouts and shit. He just seems, like, so cool and laid back and all that shit. And, um, I got the, I, I actually, you can order this off Amazon and I put an Amazon link in there for it. But if you want to like go over to, oh man, my camera is really not great, but that's Screen Factory. That's Screen Factory. I'll put a link to like Screen Factory. If you want to go check out like their webpage and shit too, Shout Factory, Screen Factory. It's like, you know, same thing, whatever. But like, uh. If you want to go check them out too, you know, and buy straight off their website, they got some like cool shit. I'm not sure if all of it is on Amazon, but it goes to Amazon like the same exact copy, like the link is on Amazon. So like, I don't know. It's up to you. You can go check the shit out. They got other shit on there. I think, I don't know. I think they might have exclusives or something like exclusive to their sites. So I'll put that link in there. And, uh, <sighs> This coffee. Oh, I love that coffee. And you know, I don't have, of course, I don't have a 4K player because uh, I'm poor and I'm gonna wait till like 8 million K comes out and 4K shit's cheap and then I'm going to watch it in brilliant 4K. Okay? That's how I roll. Okay? I'm patient because. Like, this 2 Blu-ray theatrical version, I've watched it quite a few times, but what's cool about this edition is Disc 3, 
which is the Blu-ray television version. And like, I'm thinking of going all nostalgia and like fucking shit up old school with the television version, like the original that I saw, you know, and I'm really like excited to watch it again because I really do love this movie. I do. I just, it's fucking great. If you're a horror fan, you want something fun, little cheese and just like the great way they did the effects. I mean, it's a fun movie and uh, I'm going to have fun watching it again. And uh, I'm going to fuck off and do that now because like, dude, I've been yapping for a while and like, you guys probably like want to know what I want to want to say about it. I don't know. Guess so. But all right. All right. See you in a bit. Uh, fuckers. Um, alligator. Oh, yeah. Alligator TV version. It's been a long time since I watched, like, the TV version, you know, where it's all edited, like, overdubbing the curse words and all that goofy shit and everything. It's pretty funny. But, like, I, I really, really love this movie. It's a great movie. It's just, like, so much fun. It's like, okay, that scene when it's, like... You know, the kids are playing, like, fucking baseball on the street. Cause that's what kids did in the 80s. Those little latchkey motherfuckers out after dark playing baseball on the street. Well, like, uh, and then when the alligator comes up through the fucking concrete and everything, how it's like, they, just how they do the miniature work for the sets and everything, like the little trash cans to give scale and shit like that with the real alligator. And, like, the, the alligator effects themselves, like, the, that they made... I mean, they weren't too bad. It's, if you've ever seen, like, Crocodile, which is, like, an Italian, like, movie, the same thing, but about a crocodile in the jungle, giant, doing it. Like, the effects are just very goofy. And, you could, and, like, these are actually pretty well done. And, like, this edition right here is, like, pretty badass. Um, you know, just having, like, disc one... Where it's like, if you have the 4K player, you can w watch the theatrical version in 4K, you know, real good high def, which it's going to be cool someday with some of these sets I got that have the 4K in it. And, uh, when I can finally get a 4K player and shit like that and like check this shit out, it'll be, it'll be pretty cool to watch them in even higher def because these old films, you know, it's like, I, I even talked about it when I did my Texas Chainsaw Massacre video where it's like, the higher definition, like, really makes it clearer, but it it doesn't lose the grit, at least at, like, you know, whatever regular Blu-ray is. But fucking, I don't know, I like that. I, I You could really see, because you can't take it away, because it was already filmed on, like, that type of film, that type of camera, at that t time period. But it's, like, a clarity, and, like, this movie really gets it, too, and it's pretty cool. You know, and just do Blu-ray theatrical version. You know, I just love it and has a bunch of the bunch of interviews and all that kind of shit. You know, the special features and then what I watched, disc three, Blu-ray television. So it's like, yeah, you know, like three discs. Pretty good set. It's like, you know, I'm gonna have the links for Amazon and for like Shop Factory and shit that you can go and uh Pick up a copy if you want one. If you don't already have one, then uh, I highly recommend it because it's pretty cool. It's a great fucking movie. I just, I just like a lot of the, a lot of the aspects of it. It's just like, it just, it's got goofiness. It's tongue in cheek. It's just really classic. You got like the main protagonist, like cop, who's like losing partners, but it, but he's not like, not on the edge. He's still a tough guy and he's got an edge, but he's not like, you know, drinking his life away and shit like that. You know, he's just like still pushing on. He's just a tough cop that refuses to say no, you know, just battling this giant creature in the sewer. And I love how it's like, it almost parallels slugs in a way, just like in the plot line. Cause I mean, you know, Back then, there was a lot of formulaic type plots. You see it in like the slasher movies and shit like that. And I guess like big creature in the sewer movies, it kind of is the same. Uh, killing shit, people fucking track down into the sewer. 
they blow the shit up in the sewer and it causes some property damage, but it's like, hey, man, at least that stuff that was making people unalive is n not alive anymore. Thank, thank goodness for that. But just like shit just blown to hell. It's fucking classic. You know, Robert Forster's fucking Titan. It's got a great fucking crew. Just like the different character actors that pop up in there. You know, it's like, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know. I just really love this fucking movie, man. And I just think everybody should watch this fucking movie, man. Oh, right there. 1080p. Blu-ray's 1080p. That's pretty nice high def. But yeah, um, Alligator, dude. It's like, I'm sure a bunch of you have seen it. If you haven't seen it, it's like, God. If, you, if you're if you a fan of just like some classic, just, I mean, it's solid. It's nothing amazing. It's not going to like change your fucking life. You're like you're going to have some goddamn light bulb above your head epiphany and just all of a sudden your life's going to change but it's fucking fun you're entertained it's solid you watch it and you, you walk away and you're like dude okay yeah that was a cool movie and it's like if you if you don't i mean that's cool i guess i mean just don't ask me to house sit for you because i don't know there's just something about you that just i i don't know i don't know it's odd. I'm, I'm afraid I might find something in like a closet or in the basement that I'll be like, oh shit, I, should I call the police? Pretty much. But yeah, like, uh, oh my God, that fucking, uh, that scene at the wedding, it's just like so funny. It's uh, like, just how that fucking alligator busts in there and just wreaks havoc and how it just is just like, like, I don't know if it, like, knew that guy was in there specifically. Like, it had some kind of, like, intelligence where it's like, oh, that's the motherfucker right there or in that fucking limo. Or he just, like, hates limos. Or, I don't know, man. But he beat the shit out of that fucking limo with his tail. That was hilarious. He just crushes it with his tail. Like, he went off. He was, like, not stopping. You know? Because, like, this film is also... Like an eco horror movie, it doesn't really like go crazy into like oh yes you know where it's like you're you're almost getting a message or definitely getting a message, but it's definitely the underlying like eco horror dealio where it's like oh yes we're we're trying to make money and so we're gonna be unethical and then shit happens and now nature has gone wild, you know but um. Like, it just beats the shit out of that fucking limo and kills that dude. And how it's just, like, bitch-slapping motherfuckers left and right, like, all over the place up in there. It's just... It's just so fucking great. And that one cop, it's like, yeah, I don't want to live forever. And it's like... Foreshadowing. Yeah, that motherfucker. He got chomped up. But, yeah, I just... I just really love this movie, and I recommend it. It's, it's one I will definitely recommend to people because, like, I don't know. I could say it like 10,000 fucking times. It's solid. Fucking alligator. And I think you guys should go and get a, get a copy of this. And it's also probably fucking streaming on something. Probably most definitely TV. You know, if you just want to, like, chill, get baked. Because, I mean, it's a fun baked movie, too. I mean, you'll you'll laugh. You'll just be entertained and everything. It's like, imagine if Die Hard had a giant alligator instead of Germans. And less, less gunfire, but more severed body parts. That's alligator. Um, I'll, I'll go with that. Like, I would say that Robert Forster in this motherfucker, his character, David Madison, I'd say... He is like the John McClane in this movie. They are both like kind of the same, except John McClane by like later movies. I'm talking about Die Hard 1 John McClane, not, not Die Hard 4 John McClane, where he's just a half-assed beaten old man and just wanting to give up. No, I'm talking about like Die Hard 1 where he's like, yes, um, fuck bad guys. You know, those guys are dicks. So like, you know, like I said, fuck them, man. That's Robert Forster. In this. So it's like, yeah, see if it's streaming. Um, I think there's a link to the movie, but it has like Hindi subtitles or something. <laughs> it's on YouTube. So if you don't mind that, you can check out the YouTube link if you want to go watch it there and everything. 
or uh, check the sites and pick it up or whatever. And if you're a collector, which I was kind of like, you know, being a collector of physical media that I've talked about, physical media junkie and shit, like there's like copies, there's like Blu-ray copies. I think they're all like more expensive, of course, but they're like different region, like import Blu-ray copies of it that would probably be interesting for a collector. Even I looked at them like, well, down the road, you know, if fortune smiles upon me somehow, it's like I, I'd totally get goofy shit like that, you know. And uh, yeah, alligator really dug it. And uh, next week, I'm actually going to be reviewing seriously one of my favorite films. This film is probably like it's 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 in my top five for like fucking ever. It will never be out of my top five, you know. And um, I would say it's probably I think it bounces around between number three and number four or some shit like that. Because, I don't know, sometimes there's this, like there's a couple movies I watch where I'm like, oh, fuck this goddamn movie. It's just like, it's tough. It's like almost, I, I, I would be one of those dicks that would be like, no, you, like, they can't tie. I said only five movies in your top five. And I'd be like, I know, but number three and number four, there's like a couple that tie. No, I'd probably be that guy. But anyway, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. This movie, I think, is so well done. The way it's crafted. I know it's like probably semi-divisive. I know a lot of people that watch it and they really get a kick out of it and they really love it, you know? And um, I, I just think the way it's crafted is really well done. I, I, I think the way they the, the way they made this movie was just, it, it was spot on. I, I just watch it and I'm like, damn, dude, they did a really fucking good job putting this together. I'm not, I'm not just talking about getting like famous people and their cameos in there, you know, like Robert England and like Kane Hodder's in there for a second. And, uh, what's her fuck? Uh, God damn it. Uh, Zelda Rubenstein, you know, when she pops up in there, you know, more than that, more than just getting some horror icons in there, the crafting of this movie, you know, the dialogue, the, the fucking editing, um, just the pace, just how it's crafted, put together. It's just, I think it's very, I think it's a very smart horror film. It's smarter than it looks. And, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing next week. Uh, behind the mask, the rise of Leslie Vernon. And, uh, that's next week. So I'm not, I, I already yapped about that enough. Alligator. <sighs> Go watch it. It's pretty cool. So that's it for episode what is this? Seven? Oh my god. Pretty soon I'm going to run out of fingers to count on and then I'm fucked. Because I've only got seven toes. So I can't even make it to 20. So, until next week, uh, I am Pudi Tang and this has been Reviewly Interrupted. Wadata. Oh, yeah.